my name is Dami. I'm currently a bioprocess engineer in Eli Lilly in Ireland. Hi, I'm Sam Grayson. I'm a senior risk engineer at a consultancy called R4 Risk. Hi, I'm Sarah Morris and I'm a process engineer at Arup. I work in the water department. So the medicines that I currently work on are in um, the oncology, the diabetes uh, function. And I'm constantly worried about making sure that the batches are getting on time, uh, meeting our quality requirements, and also having safety as my number one priority. As a risk engineer, I work with a range of clients from oil and gas to pharmaceutical, to uh, food production, uh, petrochemicals, and I help those clients with their process safety and risk management concerns. I work in a range of different aspects of wastewater and clean water design, ranging from detailed design through to optimization on sites. One of the best parts about my current role is the fact that not one day is ever the same. You really do get to think on your feet and combine your problem solving skills with the theory that you've obtained from your degree um, and applying it to real life problems. It's great to know that my role directly influences the batches that I'm in charge of. Those batches are directly serving the patients worldwide. The best part of my current role is the variation I have from day to day. Um, some days I'll be doing detailed process designs, including mass balances and understanding how processes work. And the next day I could be on a site actually sampling sewage and doing analysis of that. The best part of my current role would be working with a whole range of companies, companies that do uh, different things from refineries, petrochemical, pharmaceutical, food production, uh, having a higher level view of lots of different chemical engineering processes, um, but also seeing the similarities from a chemical engineering point of view of what all those different companies do. My advice to students seeking a graduate role is to keep an open mind about the jobs that are out there. Try not to restrict yourself to one particular role or sector that you may have a preference for. Look at all the jobs that are available and just know that there are many pathways within the chemical engineering job space and there are plenty of opportunities to utilise your skill set to move around within that chemical engineering industry. When you're looking for a graduate role, keep an open mind. Try and attend guest lectures, read some articles online and network on LinkedIn. Don't be shy and don't be afraid. My advice to students would be talking about all your experience as much as possible. That's really useful for an employer to see. It shows that you're responsible, you've gone out of your comfort zone, you're punctual, you can hold down a job or a certain time frame and that's priceless. One piece of advice though, definitely get your driving license sorted if you haven't done so already. These jobs tend to be in slightly remote locations, so keeping yourself mobile with a car license will always do you many, many favours and it's always a great life skill to have. My advice to a student doing an application is think about your skill sets outside of academia. If, for example, you are part of a sports team, talk about teamwork and your commitment to that team. That's what employers look for in applications because in your day-to-day -day life, in a job, you are working part of the team, you're not an individual, and it's really important to highlight that. Firstly, just make sure you read the job ad. If it asks you to provide a CV and a cover letter, make sure you do that. Make sure you provide both of those. Don't um, skip providing a cover letter. Um, it's also really good to tailor your cover letter to the job that you're applying for as much as possible. So try and include in your cover letter uh, any examples or skills that you have that directly align with the skills listed in the job ad. 
So the iKimmy really helps me in my day-to-day -day role because I'm able to look at the competencies um, that are required for chartership and understand how I put that into my day-to-day -day work, which I'm really grateful for. Also, the website's got lots of different articles that I can read and understand different viewpoints of chemical engineers in different industries and not just water in my case. Being an ICME member has really helped me in my current profession today. It's given me multiple networking opportunities and I am constantly learning about the recent advances um, such as uh, energy and fuels, oil and gas, biofuels, food industry, wastewater treatments, the list goes on. But I also came across a really valuable opportunity um, as a volunteer for the COVID-19 response team. And I also contributed to the antibody therapeutics team. Being a part of a professional membership organisation provides opportunities to meet others, opportunities to uh, speak at conferences, uh, like I did at iChemie's um, Hazards Australasia conference in 2019. Uh, where I not only was able to share knowledge myself uh, with others, but was also able to meet peers in industry and, and learn from them about how we all approach process safety and, and risk management. I was inspired to become a chemical engineer through people I worked with um, as a year in industry student. I worked with chemical engineers but as a chemist and I really enjoyed their thought process of how they could utilize math and science together, whereas I was just utilizing the science side. And I thought I could do that. And so I did it and I really enjoy it still. My inspiration towards becoming a biochemical engineer was all about me helping people. It's all about making the world a better place. And I wanted to do that by problem solving, being hands on, being on my feet all the time, getting my hands dirty, but also dealing with life systems and embracing the safety aspects and practices every day whilst completing my day-to-day -day job. What inspired me to become a process engineer and specifically a process safety engineer was learning about different safety aspects during university and also during my three-month vacation program at GSK. I was particularly interested in being involved in learning more about those sorts of incidents and helping others to um, one day prevent that sort of thing occurring at their site.